Greetings, I am checking in from the Forest of Enlightenment and this is just a video I had to do. I have a lot of videos scheduled, a lot of important or interesting topics to talk about but I can't really focus on them until I have shared what's on my mind and probably on the minds of many of you too. So this is a video made in the hopes Maybe it's a futile hope, but I'm taking a long shot here anyway, uh, in the hopes that this video will reach someone at YouTube, the headquarters, or at Google, or wherever. And uh, I just want to ask a question for all of you who work on YouTube or Google. So you went from being the champion of the people, the champion of free speech, to becoming a force of censorship you're shutting off people's voice basically so we have in internet and in things like youtube facebook instagram twitter etc you have created the possibility for regular people to make their voices heard and i've said before i'll say it again i am pro democracy but most people don't understand what democracy means democracy means that regular people can influence decision making in society. So it doesn't mean that a country should have elections every four years. That is not what democracy is about. Democracy is about freedom of speech that every citizen should be able to speak his mind, state his political views in order to influence whatever institution he or she is aiming at. That is power derived from the people. So again, if you have some sort of faulty conception of democracy, it is not about going to a rigged election every four years. That is called representative democracy. A true democracy built upon freedom of speech guarantees that regular people, regular citizens can influence policy making without fear of reprisal. And now what you have in YouTube, you can get shut off, you can lose your potential for income, you can lose the ability to put, literally, put food on the table of your children. So to the question at hand, for anyone at YouTube, is that the legacy you want? Do you want the legacy of having gotten into a company or an institution, which YouTube is, You've gotten into an institution on the good side, the side of democracy or the side of the people, if you so will. And now you leave it in the hands of massive corporations who don't want to see their monopoly threatened. So ask yourself, is that the legacy you want to leave after yourself? Now, again, in the hopes that someone on YouTube, in YouTube, in Google will see this, I just want to encourage you to have some sort of clearer guidelines have some guidelines that says, you know what, we can't have pornography on our sites, which I'm perfectly fine with. I uh, am not a fan of pornography, as you all know. You can also say, you know what, you're not allowed to use the F word. You're not allowed to say F-U-C-K. Uh, or you're not allowed to say I-F-Hate-Group-X. I'm perfectly fine with that. But the thing is... Most of the guys and girls you have banned or are threatening to ban, they haven't said any of these malicious uh, or hateful things. It's just peacefully expressed political opinions. So again, I'm perfectly fine if you have a set of community guidelines that are clear for everyone to understand. You can say, you know what, we don't want any hatred of any particular group. That is perfectly fine. I am all on board with that. I also think that YouTube should be a platform everyone can come to and not be greeted by hateful comments or curse words and swearing, etc. But as it is right now, the guys and girls who are being targeted, they haven't done any of this. So for the sake of, for the, sake of the people, for the sake of freedom of speech, be a bit more clear in what guidelines you have because I don't know at the moment if I knew if I knew how to monetize my channel 
I would read through the guidelines and say, okay, I will endeavor to not do any of these things. No problem. And I'm sure that the people who have been banned up until now, if they knew exactly the rules, they would have stuck to those rules. Not something strange, but it's so complicated when you don't know and it's so arbitrary from your side, from YouTube's side. So you can choose yourself. Where do you want to go? Do you want to go along the path of censorship or do you want to continue to hold up YouTube as a beacon of freedom of expression for people worldwide? So anyway, I hope that reaches someone at least. And uh, again, to all of my subscribers, do follow me on Telegram. You can follow me on Gab as well. A bit um, less fragile than the other options in terms of social media these days. So yeah, anyway, to my subscribers, stay tuned for some new videos. I will mainly talk about history, health, fitness, gym training, some culture, etc. in the coming time. It's um, been a little while since I talked about those things and I've gotten a lot of questions, so I thought to get into that side of things again. So anyway, thank you for watching. XXO, boom.